Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So if you're passionate about skincare and sleep products that are effective and affordable, then this is the channel for you. So please do make sure you subscribe down below and join our little skincare family. And without further ado, let's get on to today's video. And so I was browsing through the Desian website window shopping for my next skincare purchases, like I'm always doing. I'm always on those websites, always adding to my wish list. It is crazy. <laughs> but what did I see? teasers for two brand new products coming soon to The Ordinary. Oh my god. And what is even more exciting is that those two brand new products are two sunscreens which are unlike their others which I think you guys are going to absolutely love. And so with their current sunscreen products called Mineral UV Filters SPF 15 and Mineral UV Filters SPF 30 both with antioxidants they kind of have gained mixed reviews if that's putting it lightly <laughs> due down to the fact that just consumers are just not loving the white cast that you know is said to be for all skin tones but yet it leaves this incredibly insanely ghostly looking white cast and has this sort of sticky and slippery feel on the skin and this just really limits the inclusivity of this sunscreen product for darker skin tones and also like even oily and combination skin types because of the application many will pe many people will not want the white cast that really ghostly looking white cast and combination and oily skin types won't want that slippery sticky kind of film on the skin after application however these sunscreen products have a fantastic ingredients list with a huge host of amino acids just to really further help support hydration levels in the skin and also increase collagen production they also have a bunch of antioxidants in there as well which is just fantastic for all skin types and all skin concerns because it's just going to further protect your skin from like environmental stresses, oxidative stress and also pollutants as well as getting your sun protection factor from the UVA and also the UVB rays. And currently their mineral UV filters SPF 15 has zinc oxide at 9.76% and also titanium dioxide at 3.74% whereas the UV mineral filters SPF 30 has zinc oxide at 14.03% and titanium dioxide at 5.44 percent and so with that in mind can we see the numbers rise in these new sunscreen products coming soon to the ordinary and the two new sunscreen products are called invisible uv filters spf 35 with antioxidants and then also mixed uv filters spf 50 which oh my god i am so excited this is incredibly exciting because we are finally going to get well formulated sunscreen products from the ordinary that can suit all skin tones and all skin types and in regards to the formula we aren't going to be disappointed are we because at the end of the day it's the ordinary they just specialize in star class products at really incredibly affordable prices so let's talk about what we can expect from these two new sunscreen products from the ordinary and so the first one is the invisible uv filters spf 35 with antioxidants and so we can actually potentially see the ordinary bring in a chemical sunscreen I mean I would be quite surprised at that but you know the possibilities are endless it's 2020 it's been one hell of a year we did not expect this to happen this year so when we never know we could expect a chemical sunscreen from the ordinary or we could see a next generation physical filters with no nanoparticles just what you usually would see typically with Japanese or Korean sunscreen products and to be honest with you I wouldn't be surprised at that because the Asian sunscreen market is incredibly popular recently and it's just well trusted amongst so many of us or could we possibly see the ordinary following the same footsteps as the Inculus with their recently released sunscreen product of 22% non nano zinc oxide and what makes the Inculus product special is that it has this slight tint to it so it's not a tinted sunscreen but it does have this slight uh, you know tint to it and um, which makes it suitable for all skin tones because it is incredibly blendable and it doesn't actually leave a white cast but it has this sort of like airy whipped consistency which I think is really special as well so not necessarily saying that the ordinary is copying the Inculus because it does take a very long time to produce formulate and get a sunscreen product approved and um, 
but yeah they could you know we could see something similar to that and of course this new sunscreen product includes antioxidants in there so hopefully fingers crossed we'll see the formula be pretty much the same including the likes of the amino acids for in favor hydration and also collagen production and of course the antioxidants just to protect further the skin of oxidative and environmental stresses and also pollutants and things like that as well as your SPF filters protecting your skin from the UVA and also the UVB rays and the word invisible that is very promising but can it actually deliver in a no white cast residue on the skin and for all skin tones and now moving on to the next new sunscreen product by The Ordinary which is called mixed uv filters spf 50 and this is also very very interesting because can we potentially see a hybrid sunscreen product mixing physical and also chemical sunscreen filters like titanium dioxide uvinyl a plus octocrylene homosolate anything like that um, you know again much like Japanese and Korean sunscreen products and doing a hybrid sunscreen just suits a wider target audience and also suits better application for you know all skin tones and all skin concerns and also skin types and also not forgetting it's an SPF 50 which is actually the highest sun protection factor by the ordinary to date which is incredibly exciting because that just widens the target audience of that because I know a lot of people and a lot of you guys are all about SPF 50 and non less or no less <laughs> and it's really good to see the brand listening to their consumers and just sort of thinking about ways of okay how can we improve on those two other sunscreen products that we have and how can we elevate them and make them better and just sort of you know provide to the current demands of sunscreen products on the market today and hopefully we will see the prices of these two new sunscreen sort of stick around the 10 to 15 pound mark you know hopefully even less which would be amazing and just really sort of you know stay true to the ordinary price points of being really incredibly affordable but their formulas are high quality and let me know what you think in the comments below and fingers crossed we'll get a release date very very soon so thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you very very soon for a brand new video see you later guys bye bye